Welcome to this short video on how to use the Command Entry page in Mainframe Team Center Network Management. The Command Entry page provides an alternative to executing commands in your 3270 emulator. In fact, you can execute many mainframe commands right from your web browser in an intuitive modern interface. This video will show you the Command Entry page and how to select a command type and execute commands under the Netmaster command type including the Show Users command in Netmaster, an MVS command that displays the last time you IPL'd your system, a USS command that shows how long your environment has been running. We'll also see how to execute commands under the SysView command type including a summary of information about jobs on the JES job queues. This video also describes other capabilities such as how you can export your command output to a TXT or CSV file. This is the command entry page where you can execute Netmaster, SysView, MVS, and USS or Linux commands. First, we'll select one of these command types to get started. If you want to see a list of commands available for a selected command type, click the question mark icon. This control executes the command Show Commands for Netmaster and the command List CMDS for SysView. The list of available commands is returned from the mainframe application referenced in the Command Type field. In the Results section, you also have a download option. After you execute a command, you can download the results as an exported file. Results that are plain text come back as TXT files. Results that come back as formatted tables are exported as CSV files. This capability is valuable when you have a large number of rows with lots of information to download as a CSV file. To the right of the command field, you have the History drop-down list. The History list shows previous commands that you've executed. The lists for Netmaster and SysView are separate. You can also clear the history for both commands. Note that if you clear your browser's cache, you will also clear the History list in this page. Click Toggle Options for additional options, but keep in mind that these options differ for Netmaster and SysView. For Netmaster, you can set the maximum number of lines returned, maximum time that you want to wait until the page displays the output, and the Netmaster region. For SysView, you can only set the maximum number of lines returned. Now that you have an understanding about how the interface works and why you'd want to use the command entry page, let's look at some example commands and their output. In this example, we'll look at a Netmaster command that shows the number of users who are logged into your Netmaster region. To do this, enter the command Show Users. If you use this command often, there's a shortcut for show, sh. You can type just sh users and get the same result. As you can see, the output shows the number of users who are logged into your region. Now let's move to an MVS command example. While using the Netmaster command type, you can execute common MVS commands. Suppose you want to see the last time your system was IPL'd. Enter the command MVS display IPL info. The output shows the date and time that the system was last IPL'd. Now let's look at a USS Linux shell command example. You can execute USS shell commands from the command entry page too. For example, you want to see how long your system's been running. Enter USS uptime to view the complete details. In the output, you see information about how long your system has been running. Now let's take a look at a sysview command example. In the previous three command examples, we use Netmaster as the command type. In this command example, we'll select SysView as the command type and then enter a command. We'll use the job summary command, JobSum. The results show a summary of information about jobs on the JES job queues. This display tells you the type, queue, status, job input class, and spool volume. This concludes this introduction to the command entry page and a few basic command examples. In this video, you learned how to use the command entry page to execute Netmaster, MVS, USS, and SysView commands. You saw sample commands from each of those areas and you learned how to download or export page results. You can find additional Netmaster and SysView product documentation at docops.ca.com. Thanks for watching.